I am a doctor in Estrosa and I am the director of clinic operations at Orlando Immunology Center, OIC. I am uh, original from Medellin, Colombia, and I am studying uh, medical school in, in my hometown in Medellin in the Universidad CES. Then I moved to the United States um, where I did my residency in, um, in Pennsylvania in Geisinger Medical Center. I did internal medicine. And then I continue with a um, fellowship in infectious diseases in Washington, D.C., in Washington Hospital Center with Georgetown University. Currently, I have been working in OIC since I finished fellowship. And I started as, a, as an uh, internal medicine infectious disease physician, seeing uh, all the patients in the clinic, of being in this practice for many, many years. Uh, to become the director of clinic operations, and that's where I am currently at. I have been doing clinical for quite some time now. I mean, uh, I graduated from, from uh, med school 25 years ago, so it's been a long time. And I started working in clinical as a general practitioner in my country, in Colombia. When I moved to the States, I continued with, with my work in, in, uh, in general medicine before I got involved in internal medicine and infectious disease. So, um, and my first job as a specialist uh, happened in Orlando Immunology Center. So I have all this um, time of dealing with clinical experience. And in terms of research, I started to get more involved um, during my projects in training in internal medicine, then infectious disease, and then full involved as a principal investigator when I joined in uh, Orlando Immunology Center, where I became the principal investigator for all the hepatitis C clinical trials at, uh, when we have plenty of new molecules in development, which uh, finally um, became very good treatment for cure of hepatitis C. Then I continue my research with, uh, with HIV, hepatitis B, COVID-19, and, and I have been very involved in research either as a principal investigator or sub-investigator in Orlando Immunology Center. We currently are affiliated to uh, the University of Central Florida School of Medicine, where uh, we mentor um, students for the research projects that they start working when they are in their first year of med school and second year of med school. We have a large clinic with lots of data, lots of opportunities to investigate and to present in regional, national, and even international meetings, and, and also uh, to submit those studies for publication. Young healthy people, they need to know that there are places where they could go and ask uh, for preventive measurements to prevent sexually transmitted infections. They need to know that there are places like that. And they also need to know that there are strategies to prevent very important infections when they're becoming sexually active. They need to know that we have a PrEP. They need to know that we have uh, also vaccines that prevent very important infections and vaccines that have been proven to be extremely efficient to prevent infections such as hepatitis B, HPV, human papillomavirus, hepatitis A. So those are vaccines that are very important for the, for the young and healthy sexually active person. And then the strategies that we have in terms of um, preventing HIV uh, so far, which is utilizing PrEP correctly, uh, along with having safe sex. A general rule is someone who's healthy, sexually active, probably they need to get, get tested at least every six months. Also depending on sexual practices, sexual partners, or symptoms that they develop as they're being sexually active, they might need to get tested sooner. Some people might need to get tested every three months, but as a general rule, at least every six months, if you're sexually active, that should be an adequate um, uh, testing uh, frequency. When a patient comes to me and tells me that I cure his uh, or her hepatitis C, is one of the greatest satisfactions that I have as a medical doctor. I enter the room, I'm already, they already see my expression in the face, and, and that kind of sets the mood for the visit. And it's a very emotive um, uh, situation. Many times patients, I can see them with, uh, that they're so emotional, that there's tears of happiness and it's a very uh, emotional visit and, and I really, I really enjoy uh, when I tell patients that they're cured of their hepsi.